Normally this would be the time each month where I highlight the best hidden gems coming out, but with so many games coming out in May, I decided to just make a Top 10 Games Part 2. Hey guys, it's Cody with Indie Game Pulse, let's get right into it. Rising Hell is a vertically climbing roguelite where your warrior ascends out of the depths of hell. This being the first release on Steam from developer Tahoe Games, it seems they have absolutely killed it from the dark and dangerous atmosphere to the sick metal soundtrack and the combat looks tight and frenetic. As you progress through the story, you can also unlock new playable characters, not just NPCs to guide you as we normally see in roguelites. Aside from the story mode, there are also challenge modes complete with leaderboards to scratch that competitive itch. Rising Hell is being released from Steam Early Access into version 1.0 on May 18th and will be available on all consoles. At number 9, and a game that I featured way back in the early days of my channel, is Boy Beats World. This charming rhythm battler has you exploring a sci-fi world filled with deadly robots who apparently hate a good beat. You'll learn different mechanics as you progress to take down more and bigger bots, including several boss fights, and I think the aspect of Boy Beats World that sticks out to me the most is that you're still playing the game while fighting with music. Oftentimes we expect a transition to a Guitar Hero type battling sequence, but Boy Beats World is all about experiencing the world and fighting in time with some cool electro beats. Pick this one up on May 27th for PC, Mac, and Linux. Is it just me, or have we been seeing more and more noir-type games coming out lately? But you know, I'm not even upset about it because I can never get enough moody scene cuts and smooth jazz to keep me satisfied. In the grimy city of Pecaminosa, you play as former detective John Sousa as you investigate, off the record of course, the seedy underbelly of the city and the vagrants who run it. If you like gritty mysteries and witty and provocative storytelling, be sure to check out Pecaminosa, coming to PC and all consoles on May 27th. If you were feeling the sci-fi theme earlier with Boy Beats World, CareBots will deliver an even greater amount of it, being set in outer space where you play as Bibbs the robot. While only a maintenance bot, you quickly find yourself thrown into the role of protecting a decaying factory from an onslaught of enemies. Seeking to combine the feel of the classic Asteroids arcade game together with Metroidvania elements, exploration and discovery will be just as important as mowing down enemies here, and there will even be some tough platforming sections as well. You can play CareBots now on PC via Steam. Coming from the developer Brainwash Gang, and with quite a notable history, Nonguns Doppelganger Edition replaces the original Nonguns, which was removed from Steam after publishing in 2017 due to issues with the publisher at the time. Thankfully, this Roguevania title is back in action and looking better than ever in my opinion, with a gorgeous black and white aesthetic with bold colors added in occasionally. The gameplay is quite fast-paced, as you can see from the trailer, and with a focus on chaining kills for combos, you'll want to keep up the pace as best you can. It even includes a co-op mode for those of us that enjoy dual wielding with our buddies. With loads of weapons and upgrades to discover and combine, Nonguns Doppelganger Edition should keep bringing you back over and over. Pick it up on PC, Mac, Linux, and all consoles now. At number 5 is a much more chill experience, to say the least, but not without its own skill curve to learn and master. Skate City is a game that I have already reviewed, but it stands out to me as an excellent indie skateboarding title for a couple reasons. The artwork is incredible, with soft tones and glowing lights as the days fade into night, and vice versa. The longer you skate, the more you'll discover what each iconic city has to offer. From Los Angeles to Oslo to Barcelona, you'll jump legendary stair sets and grind famous rails as you complete challenges or just skate to your heart's content in the endless skate mode. 
and the lo-fi soundtrack is pretty sick too. Skate City is already available for PC and all consoles. In the dystopian future of Mind Scanner, you work against time and in accordance with the structure, an ominous name for a mysterious organization, and you must use mind scanning machines to test the sanity of the citizens. Be warned, this game does address some heavier topics and moral dilemmas, and may lead you down some paths you didn't think you would ever take. Similar in gameplay to games like Papers, Please, and Death and Taxes, you must work with the information given, but your choices may come back to haunt you in the end. Follow the many twisting narratives to their surprising ends in Mind Scanners coming to PC via Steam on May 20th. Now the second game on our list coming from the developer Brainwash Gang, and a demo which especially stood out to me during my recent Ludonoricon coverage, The Longest Road on Earth is a type of game which I admit I am biased toward, and that is a story told without words. Apparently this game decided to take it even a step further and tell a story without any color too. With expansive monochromatic landscapes and a lovely original soundtrack that gave me chills the first time I heard it, you'll experience the stories of four different rodent characters in just around two to three hours total. While the playtime may not be long, I think this experience may end up being one that I look back on with very fond memories and revisit from time to time. The Longest Road on Earth comes out on May 27th for PC, Android, and iOS. Retro Machina is available now, and matching the theme of several other games on my list already is set in a robotic, futuristic world. In this isometric puzzle platformer, the city has been left vacant of any humans and the only inhabitants are worker bots. But your bot is something of an anomaly. He's able to hack the other robots and use them for his purposes. As you explore the hand-drawn worlds of Retro Machina, you will overcome obstacles and enemies by utilizing the strengths of your robot counterparts. If this one piques your interest, you can grab it on PC and all consoles. If you want to keep finding the newest and best indie games and hear genuine reviews from an indie game fanatic like yourself, click the subscribe button and the notification bell to make sure you don't miss another video. And at number one on my second list for May is Aerial Knights Never Yield. When I saw this featured during the recent Nintendo Indie World Showcase, it stuck out to me immediately with its sweet, upbeat soundtrack and simple yet rewarding gameplay. Having also played the demo now, I can tell you that while this is an accessible game with a limited control set, there are different difficulty modes and speedrunning options to keep you coming back for more in the future. As you play, you'll unravel the protagonist Wally's mysterious past as you run from your enemies through a futuristic Detroit, where you'll vault through, jump over, and slide under obstacles in rapid succession. Aerial Knights Never Yield comes to PC and all consoles on May 19th. Drop a comment below and let's talk about which game you're most excited to play this month. If you like the content, please consider helping out and supporting us on Patreon in exchange for some nice perks too. Thank you very much to my 750 subscribers for your support, and I look forward to getting to know more of you soon. For more top indie game countdowns and reviews, check out the videos on your screen now, and I'll see you on the other side.